everybody, welcome back. Lawless here with the next part of the Warcraft 3 full campaign playthrough. Um, so this level, um, it is very annoying. No gold mine, excuse me? I'll consider it. Whatever you say. I'll consider How can I help? Yes, War Chief. I can wait no longer. This will be helpful. What do you want? Need something? Direct me. I want to go for armor right away. Chieftain, we're under attack! You were right, sisters. These green-skinned brutes have no respect for life. Slay them in Elune's name. The introduction of the Night Elves! Keep in mind, this is the third campaign, right? We're several levels levels into it, and this is the first we've heard or seen of the Night Elves. Those dancing lights are strange. Perhaps they are the dread spirits that you've all been so afraid of. <laughs> women! They're women! Yes, they almost look like elves. But they're far too tall and far too savage. Research complete! Basically, this is this world's equivalent of Dark Elves, or the, the uh, Night Elves, uh, but with a very big spin on them. Okay, where the fuck is a gold mine? I, can I recall that. having a gold mine I'll right away. It. Finally. Is there one up here? I'll there better be. It. Yeah, okay, good. Finally. I'll consider it. Finally, my life for the Horde. We're under Chief, attack. The warrior women have returned on flying beasts. Hmm. They won't last long after our wolf riders have ensnared them. Gosh. How can I help? Shit, I can get more upgrades. Sick. Alright. Uh we have not got the off the optimal objective yet. Okay. I'll consider it. Whatever you say. Finally. Something need doing? Mm -hmm. Something need doing? Ready to I work. Can do that. What do you want? Be happy to. I can wait no longer. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, I don't know when I unlock the optional quest, but there's, a, there, there, there's an optional work. quest where I can destroy the Night Elf bases for each yes. of their great, uh, uh, for each of their main structures, which is, uh, like a giant tree that I destroy, I get 5,000 lumber, right? So basically if I destroy three bases, I just win. Um, the problem is that, like, the, the optional quest is to destroy all the bases, I believe, but, like, Ready you can't. Work because there's no way that you can spend all that lumber and you'll end up getting the lumber requirement before destroying all the bases. So it's like kind of weird that they do it that way, but yeah. Uh, sh I recall shamans being pretty good on this level. How useful would they be? Pretty useful. Yeah, I'll do it. I want to be very grunt heavy because I do want to not spend too much lumber in theory. I don't want to have to destroy bases to win. Uh, I will probably go after like one or two because it very much speeds things up, but. Ready to work. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do two more. I don't want to devote like too much of my food to peasants or to, to uh, peons because that would get annoying, but. My life for the Lord. Ready to work. Oh, the other advantage once I destroy one base, too, I can get, an get another base up and get way more gold, Research which will help complete. me work complete. deal with everything. Ready to work. Yes. Oh, shamans only take gold too. Oh, they take a little bit of lumber, but not that much. Cool. Okay, I do want to build some watchtowers. We need more gold. Happy Interesting. Too. I should have left a bit more space. I didn't like grit, grit it out properly. Let's go like that. Oh shit! War Chief. I forgot that this was a thing over here. I can wait no longer. Door Research complete. Work complete. My call. Ah, greetings, good orc. Strange to see one of you in these parts. We are here to cut lumber, little goblin. Hmm. Well, there's this tribe of bear men called Furballs in this region that's been giving us trouble. If you kill the chieftain, we'll sell our goods to you at cost. We might even let you borrow a few shredders. The shredder for OP. Hmm. I'll consider it. So that's like very worth doing. I forgot that this was the other optional quest. This By is this way. is totally worth doing. 
so. I'll consider it. Yes. Yes, Warchie. Yeah, the shaman aren't gonna be crazy worth it. Say um, a word. Yes. Something need doing? Hmm? Yes. Okay. I just need to build up enough forces now to uh How can I help? To handle the fur bulgs, which are apparently over here. Is that the proper way? Probably. I'm pretty sure there's an idle base like right here. My life work complete. Oh. Mm -hmm. If I if I make one more, I'll go uh, I'll go over my uh, I'll, I'll go into low low upkeep, which is really really bad on this level because lumber matters too greatly. It's like the whole point of the level, so. Happy to. Deaths. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? I can wait no longer. Finally. Whatever you say, I'll consider it. Whatever you say. This is suspicious. Finally. Our town is under attack! Increase critical strikes, always. I'll so good. Doing? 
when we're under attack. attack. Be happy to. I can wait no longer. Blade Storm. Not gonna use it here, because why, but. I'll consider it. Ooh, health stuff. That's really good. Easy. Oh. Yes. You should be building another watchtower. I can wait no longer. My life by the law. Ready to ride. Whatever you say. Ah, thank you. Now, these shredders will cut through those trees in no time. I don't want to be on low upkeep. Uh, how much do I have to have to lose? Yes, chieftain. Okay, I'll just run these guys into the base then. That's weird, I thought there was a base here. Maybe there's one over here. Hmm. Yes, Chieftain! So shredders are really, really good. I think I'm gonna go with the passive strat on, the, on this on this game. Keep my upkeep low. Use goblin what? shredders. Use a lot of static D. I think that's gonna work out for the uh, better to do it that way. Anything here worth picking up? True seeing is pretty cool, but uh, you know what? I'll see. I'll see how much it is. As well as uh, protection and healing. Can I help you? Because if it's just gold, yeah. Our gold mine is running low. Might as well then. We're complete. Good. Whatever you say. Hmm. Hey everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that, I had to take care of something. Alrighty, um... Okay. And if you're on YouTube, I probably cut out the last, like, two minutes or so. Um, if I remember to do so. So here's... Okay. okay. Ooh, there might be a base over there. I need to be careful. Pull, pull back into the tower line. That's important. Master, double. Interesting. 
Okay. Our town is under attack! Yes, War Chief. We're already up to 5,000. Okay. And we need another 10,000. This this looked like it was open open terrain, but it, it perhaps was just a line, line of sight thing. I was worried there might be like a base over here that I was cutting into, because that would be uh, a big pain in the butt to fix. Yes. That's just a weird open clearing for like no reason. Hmm. I wonder why. Our gold mine has collapsed. Okay. There should be a base somewhere up here. Oh Something shit. Doing? My gold mine's gone? That's a problem. Mm -hmm. I can I've got a decent amount of gold. I don't know if I have enough to last me for the rest of the level. Interesting. So I can go cr try to acquire this gold mine here. That's going to be really close to a base. I don't want to have to defend two, two, two fronts if I can avoid it. What do you want? Yeah, so let's just uh, put these guys on lumber duty. And wait it out. here so I can put a war mill like this. That makes sense. I'm just wondering like why they'd bother putting in a clearing like that, but now it makes sense. There's a very good reason that I'm not like trying trying to harvest this stuff here because this encroaches too far into the base. Defending this part is not gonna be too too difficult, so I want them to stay more towards this side. I think on hard mode you need 25,000 lumber. And then it's like a lot more... Uh, you are a lot more inclined then to... Uh, to actually go after the bases. Wow, that war mill takes a long time to be built. Work complete. So sorry I picked the more boring strap for this level, but uh otherwise it would have been um if I had uh picked the more aggressive strat, um It probably would have just taken longer, actually, um, to do it that way. 
Because I would have had to tech, uh, tech up, build the army, and go on, go on the low upkeep, so my harvesting will become far less efficient. Hit our quota. Our lumber stores are almost full. Interesting. I, I, I'm always used to like attacking bases on this uh, on this level. I don't, I don't think I've ever ever tried to do it this passively. Uh, turns out it's pretty effective to do it this passively. Just stay on this part of the map. I mean, obviously, I crossed over here to do the fur bulk stuff, but. I think on hard mode this is a lot less viable because you need 10,000 more, you would cut into a base by the time you did it. You might be able to do it like really carefully, but obviously on hard mode too you, you get attacked a lot more, so this wouldn't work very well. Interesting. Well that was good just for game knowledge, to know that you can totally do this level this way. I'd be curious uh, if you could do it this way on hard mode. With, with relative ease. There is a tree there. Well, I'm about to complete it anyways, but... Huh, apparently it's not like a full base, it's just a tree. Yeah, if I kill that, I'll get 5,000 longer, but... I mean, we're like already there. When the shredders cash in, that'll put me real close. That's probably why I usually go after bases, because this one's so, so close and seems to be relatively un, uh, undefended. It's just a free 5,000, basically. Our town is under attack! If I had seen it sooner, I would have gone after it sooner. I can wait no longer. What you want? Be happy to. And we did it. Easy. Um, I was talking about kind of the is complete. Good. parallel between start constructing the settlement immediately. Between the colonists, uh, the the uh, colonists uh, coming to America, we came uh, when we when we came to America, we pretty much cut down all of the forests that were spread a, spread across the lands and whatnot. There's much more uh, vegetation than there are, than there is now. A lot of the fields um, in the Midwest and whatnot of, of the U.S. were actually just forest, and it's all gone now. I still recognize this cursed place. This is the veil of our ancient enemy, the Night Elves demigod, Cenarius. Yes, 
Lord Archimon demands that Cenarius be destroyed before we launch the invasion of Kalimdor. Hmm, I would relish the chance to face him again in combat. But he is crafty and rarely appears in the open. Fateful as it sounds, your pet orcs have recently despoiled these forest lands and incurred his wrath. Lord Archimonde and I believe that the orcs are capable of killing Cenarius for us. They would have little chance against Cenarius. If memory serves, his powers were quite formidable. Yes, but so are yours. The blood pact that you made with the orcs long ago still binds them to you. You need only recharge their energies. Just what are you suggesting, Dreadlord? Spill your burning blood into this pool. Its corruption will lure the orcs to it. And once they've tasted your blood again, they will be unstoppable. So, one of the more dense uh, sequences in the game, it uh, gave you like a lot of story out of nowhere. Basically, they revealed that the Burning Legion encountered the Night Elves before, way in the past. Scenarius wrecked their shit, and that's why they didn't conquer this world. Now they're doing another attempt, but they want to handle Scenarius first, because it would be a problem if they didn't. Um, and so... It's also revealed that the orcs were bound to Manoroth. I don't think his name came up in the previous games, but definitely the orcs served demons um, and worshipped them and whatnot. And so basically it's like, oh, they're going to re-trigger that same thing. We already know that Grom has been extra sensitive to what's been going on with the demons because he was from that era, whereas Thrall is pretty much immune to it because he was born after the orcs were free of demons. So... um. They're kind of setting up a lot of different stuff here that, like, it's kind of funny because this campaign's put, uh, uh, is kind of in, uh, it's kind of into, like, two sections. There's, like, Arthas's arc, and then there's the Burning Legion arc. And there's overlap, but, like, you know, the first half was all about Arthas and the Undead and all that. And then it's like, oh, by the way, the Undead are here for the Burning Legion. Oh, now the Burning Legion's doing shit. Well, we're gonna go to this other continent to explain what's going on with the orcs and the night elves and they're gonna like they're gonna be central to the plot with the demons like it it it's pretty interesting how like it actually seems like they had two different stories in mind and just said hey let's just do them both and have this little bit of overlap thing going on and that's what they did um but this is since the campaign ends with the burning legion arc uh, they want to develop this story a bit more than Arthas, and Arthas was, like, a little bit easier of a story to tell because it was ma mostly about one person. This is about, like, the history of the world and all the different races inter uh, interacting and the Burning Legion causing a bunch of problems. So they had to, like – they, they kind of had to uh, uh, make these cutscenes a little more dense with information and kind of a little more exposition-based because the story is a little bit more complex for this part. Um Please. There we go. Oh shit. Uh I need I need to cut. I'll cut after this. Who dares defile this ancient land? Who dares the wrath of Cenarius and the Night Elves? <laughs> Sonaris is basically a god. The forest is coming alive! We're under attack! Let battle be joined! So thanks, everybody, for watching. I will see you guys next time. If you're watching on YouTube, you will see the next part tomorrow. If you're watching live, you'll see the next part in, like, just a few minutes. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back shortly.
Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. If you don't mind giving this video a like, that shows your support, it makes a huge difference. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of my regular content. And if you want to tune in live to see what I do, well, for a wide variety of other games and whatnot, uh, tune into my Twitch uh, channel, which there should be links in all of this in annotations and in the description below. Um, also uh, follow my Twitter to get live notices to know when I am going live on Twitch. Uh, every bit of support makes a huge difference and is much appreciated, so thanks so much for watching, and uh, with that, I will see you next time.